Hi there. This video is about a problem that I'm having with my Ender 3 Pro. Well, the way it is right now, it is problematic. But really, he had an issue prior. And it was not a thermal runaway. It just said that the E1 had a problem and it stopped. So I looked up online. E1 refers to the hot end. Pretty much suspected that. But there really isn't a lot. Everyone says replace the thermistor, check your heat cartridge. Well, this is what I did. After debating back and forth for a while, I set something to print and I got the error message. Apologize, uh, as you see, I took it apart. I can't show the error message. But then after that, I decided, well, I might as well start fixing this. I need to print and I just snipped both things out. Now, I will check the heater card. This was new and this was new. Both of these were totally new. Now, with that said, I right now I could have actually tested these prior to snipping them off, but haste makes waste, so I'll check those out later. But what I did was a simple test. I cut them off, and what I did was I installed a new heater cartridge and a new thermistor. You see here is a heater cartridge and a thermistor installed. So I just placed those in there, and I went directly down to the motherboard and connect to them. Result? All good. No more error. Actually, it goes up to temperature. What I was seeing was, as I, I dial in a temperature of 180, everything went fine. I did a PID calibration at 185. That went perfect. As soon as I wanted to print a file, the file has the hot end set at 210 degrees. As soon as it hit the 200 mark, it started going down to 199, 198, then 199, then 198, 197, 195. At one point it did reach 202, but that's one of those tests. And it faulted out to that error. So, I decided to install that. Right now, the temperature rises up, goes fine. It did went over a bit, and I'm not too concerned because I had taken out the fan and I forgot to install this, even if it is placed here, to see if it actually reached temperature, uh, just in case it was blowing too hard and it was cooling this the hot the hot end too much, and it would induce an error. But that wasn't the case right now. I did place it up here in front. It dropped down to 205 degrees, but then it kept on going up, stopped at 211, and maintained itself stable. So the next step on this would be to go ahead and rewire this. This particular case I have a special case because this is 500 on the height, 500 millimeters tall. So this cable is not long enough. If you notice, right now it's on the connected as this one, and I still can go up on this. And then it actually goes to the side, so I need more. So that means I'm gonna have to uh, splice and connect these. The thing that I didn't test, like I said, I didn't test these two things, just in case my problem is not the thermistor or the heater, it's actually the splicing along the cable someplace. So that's my bad. I should have checked that out. I will check content continuity soon, but still I could have some faulty cable that's intermittent or that's not the word, is that the word? It can flash, it's like the, the flashers, comes back and forth every time. It's a tongue twister for me, so you get the idea. I'll be working on that. So I'll stop this here for now, and as soon as I get this operating working, hopefully I could paste these, these videos together and share them. All right. 